Uh, okay, the brachial plexus consists of um, a number of structures that are coming off of roots from the ventral ramus uh, of, the vent of the spinal cord, um, and they are motor in function, um, multipolar motor neurons exit and innervate the muscles of the upper extremity. Number one here is important landmark, um, C1. Right here, if we go medial, this nerve is the vagus nerve. Does all the uh, it's cranial nerve number ten, and it does the internal organs as it descends um, into the area for parasympathetic return to normal of each of those organs. We've got next to it tied off from embalming the pink structure right here, which is the carotid artery, and beneath that we see the the jugular vein. Uh, coupled with this, we would see moving down the neck. We would see, starting right here with C3 and C4, this nerve that goes all the way to the diaphragm, that's the phrenic nerve that um, will be pinched if you have bad posture and you pinch it, you'd get hiccups um, because of the pinching of this specific nerve. So starting at C, the main contributor is C4, but going all the way down from C3, 4, and 5, that'll be what keeps the diaphragm alive. All right, so... This again is a cranial, this is a cervical nerve one, this is two, here's three, and then we have number four right here, which, which begins to contribute, right? So there's, this is um, actually C4 right here, and then C5 is just beneath it, and C5 um, is the beginning of the, of the plexus, starts right there. Oh. Starts right below four. So this is four. Here's five, the first part of the plexus. So I'm going to take four out. So we've got four, five, and six, which is this one. Okay, so number six is this structure right here, this whole thing. Number seven is the one that is, um, that is right there by itself, number seven. Okay, that's number seven in there, this one. Okay, right there. Number eight is the next one, so there's C7 right there. There's eight, and there's T1 below it. So the reason I point these out is the, the upper trunk of the, of the uh, brachial plexus is going to be formed by the combination of C4, 5, and 6. Just contributions from 4, but really it's 5 and 6 coming together. So this thing right here is the upper trunk. Here's the middle trunk right there coming from C7, and then the lower trunk, these two, C8 and T1 combined, and each of these will form anterior and posterior divisions uh, as, they, as they move down into the arm. The anterior divisions of each of these trunks are going to form the lateral and medial cord. Here is the lateral cord right here, this one, and the medial cord is right here, the other part. And notice that this structure makes an M when you look at it right there. There's the M, and that M is going to form three terminal branches from it. The musculocutaneous here uh, that does the, uh, the crest of the arm, the skin, and the brachioradialis. The median nerve, which does the entire anterior portion of the arm, minus the uh, pinky and half the ring finger. And uh, the ulnar nerve, which does the pinky and half the ring finger. So these are all, again, formed from the anterior divisions of each of the... Uh, of the trunks and then the posterior divisions of each of the trunks form this posterior cord that we see uh, up here right there this large structure is the posterior cord and it's formed from all posterior branches off of the trunks if you look back up here the first branch that comes off of this posterior cord is the axillary that, that dips into the armpit right here there it is goes into the armpit and does the, uh, the muscles of the deltoid and the posterior part of the, scap of the scapula. And then the posterior cord also terminates into a large branch right here, piercing the tricep muscles and going all to, all along the backside of the, uh, of the arm, innervating everything along its way, posterior side. And that's called the radial nerve right there. Okay, the radial nerve is a combination of all roots, C5, 6, 7, 8, and T1 as is the median nerve and the others are combinations of each as you move down.